Okay, so Judy, you've been with FMA for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Reflecting back on your 10 years, what are some of the things that you that stand out? Over the 10 years, I think the conferences have always been a big highlight of the, the events. Um, I also have seen the core FEMA much more participatory of this. I've seen the fact that flood risk management now is more out there, that people can understand what's going on. Um, our community outreaches and being able to get what is flood risk out to the communities. Um, and FMA just overall helping educate people as to what is flood risk management. And I think I've just seen the, the association grow over the last 10 years and it's been absolutely fantastic to be part of it. I'm kind of sorry now that I'm not going to be an official member from the Corps of Engineers, but I'm still going to be part of the FMA as long as I can fit it in my schedule. <laughs> <laughs> So you've been the recipient of the second chair award. Yes. What does that mean to you? I, I am so honored. The fact that they've only given it once before, um, I kind of feel like I'm not deserving. But then when I look back at some of the things I've done for the association about helping with the conference planning and getting it together, and I know how important that is to keeping FMA alive, it's like, yeah, at the time it was, I just needed to get it done because I wanted to be here at the conference. <laughs> and so it was a matter of necessity for me to step up and do something just to make it happen. But then to realize how important it was for the association is, it's just very humbling. I mean, it's been very humbling this week being here and having everybody tell me, oh, they miss me, and I was a superstar, and I'm like, I don't think I was. I was just the average person who said, you know, this needs to happen, and just started doing it and making it happen. So that's what I encourage everybody to do is just step up and make something happen. You'd be surprised at how much you can accomplish when you don't really even try. You just The first step is to step forward and volunteer and do it. Well, we've been very thankful and very fortunate to have you <laughs> these 10 years, and hopefully Thank we'll you. see you at more conferences if you I, can. <laughs> I will try to be here, and in, you, next year you're in Sacramento, so I'm really hoping to be able to scoot across the street to visit you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.